Hey everybody, welcome back to Bruce's Bees. Uh, if you look in the background here, these are my backyard bees. And a few weeks ago, I did a video showing the progress of a, a couple of swarms I caught in the same location, basically the same day, and uh, what they had done after two weeks. Well, today I'm going to show you how they're doing after eight weeks. I think it was about eight weeks ago this weekend that we caught these bees. So let's check them out. Well, this is the first one we went through in that two week follow up video. Quick history on this I put these. Uh, boxes on here the second deep box and the medium box a few days ago uh, this particular colony I think they had requeened I didn't see really any eggs or brood in there it looked like they were cleaning out a space to lay so I'm eager to see how they look when I get in there uh, to see if we've got a queen if she's laying they seem super busy they seem happy so I'm thinking they probably do have a new queen and hopefully she's filling this thing up I couldn't imagine it being much of a prettier day today uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous out here and the bees are super busy we had a lot of rain yesterday it was a nasty stormy day and today the bees are making up for it they're getting after it and with the privet blooming they are so happy right now they haven't really had a chance to get up in here and do much yet although there are some bees in here but they're really not doing a whole lot kind of a fun little bit of information this box right here this honey super is actually one that ron gave me when i was down there doing the second abandoned bees video the other day he had ordered some eight frame equipment which is what he has and one of the boxes I sent him was a 10 frame so he gave it to me thanks Ron I appreciate that put it came home and put it right on this hive bees are working that frame on the edge for some reason they're probably just trying to clean it up getting it ready to put honey up here when the time is right anyway the bees have moved up in here a little bit uh, because when I went through here there wasn't an active queen in here yet laying I don't expect these bees to be super strong right now. I'm just hoping to see some brood in this hive somewhere. This area here looks like they're cleaning out space for the queen to lay. Uh, we do have some nectar coming in right here and some pollen around the edge. That's really a pretty frame of how the bees can kind of orient like a rainbow sometimes. This frame primarily just has nectar in it. I don't know how you can tell if you can tell that, but right through here, there is a little queen cup there. But there's nothing there. It's just a looks like a little practice queen cup. Okay, we've got good news. Right in through here, there are eggs. And all the and a lot of those cells. So we got us a queen in here laying. So if you look right in here, this is a pretty common pattern that you see, and I think I've mentioned it before, where the bees will clean out an area like this. They'll get it all ready to go. It'll be kind of dry or kind of shiny in there. And even in a hive that may have looked like it was going to be honey bound sometimes or may have had honey in those areas, if there is a queen that is about to lay in that spot, they'll try to clean out an area like this. So that's good news. That means I'm almost, I'm very confident that this is a new queen. Let's put out one more frame. That looks like that was an old queen cell that has emerged or else yeah looks like it was a queen cell that had emerged same thing on this one this area right here is all cleaned out and uh, she's she's laying all in through there all right here's the bottom box lots of activity through here i'm not sure if you can tell but there's some honey around the top edge here and i think this is kind of what it looked like when i had those boxes a few days ago just trying to be careful this thing is super heavy honey pollen and they're not much there looks like a little dry area i don't know if they're going to put pollen there or try to start laying there it is important though when you pull a frame out to leave that frame out because then you can create more space as you go on through the hive so i'm separating this right here so now i can pull it out without worrying about rolling any bees you got some drone brood down there on the bottom Right through here. Uh, I wanted to stung him in the arm. Uh, oh well. And got a little brood starting to happen right here. Mostly drone brood right through here. Uh, I see mostly drone brood. She is laying up through here. Some of this is regular brood right in here. Looks like maybe drone brood down there. 
she hasn't been laying long. These are all fresh little capped. The ones that are capped, I think, have just been capped. So I, I do believe we have a brand new queen in here. A little breed through here. I'd like to see some nice smooth brood. A lot of that isn't so smooth. I hope we don't have us a drone layer. Lots of new larvae down in here. I'm afraid they're gonna start stinging me in that arm. All right, so we do have plenty of eggs in there. We got some brood. I think we just need to close this up, give them some more time. See what we end up with. There are a lot of eggs in there. And uh, so we'll just see what happens. This one was full of brood when I stacked it up. I really anticipate this one being stronger than the last one. Kind of got the same story up here in the honey box. Really, they haven't had a chance to get up here yet. Now, I don't remember the population in here being all that much better than the other one, but I do remember there being a significant amount of brood in this hive. Uh, they're putting some nectar in up here. I can't emphasize enough how much a honey flow can do for bees. The privet is just coming into its own nectar all through here. Not tons of bees up in this box, at least not on those two frames. They're definitely working it. Got a bunch of drone uh, cells right here on both sides. We have eggs in there, so they're making some drones, which I'm totally okay with uh, putting good drones into the gene pool. Uh, they're just filling that thing up with nectar, storing that honey. What they have uh, cleaned up and ready to go there. They're starting to I store stuff in and do some different things. Mm, that's pretty heavy. So here's a case where there's a lot of bees right here on this outside wall. As long as you're slow and careful, it should be okay. Uh, we got honey, we got pollen. Honey. Little pollen here, space cleared out. Right there looks like for her to lay. On this side, you could tell there was brood in here. See all this brood around the edges? This was, a, I imagine this was a solid frame of brood last time I went through here. Just looked in here, and there's uh, some newly hatched larvae. Yeah, we got some eggs. If you look in here, you got some eggs, newly hatched larvae, what I like to call milk brood. Uh, which just simply means newly hatched larva. It looks kind of milky when they uh, feed it that uh, royal jelly type substance they feed it. There's a beautiful frame of brood right there. Look at that. So all this brood will emerge and fill that second box up, just fill this hive up uh, very soon. So this colony is gonna boom don't see any evidence of them trying to swarm. All through here we got eggs. Queen's doing a great job. Bees are doing a great job. Remember, this was just an average size swarm, maybe like a volleyball size swarm just eight weeks ago. I've had a lot of work to do. If I remember right, when we transferred them over to this box, I think we put the five frames from the nuke that they ran and then five frames of foundation. So I've had to draw all that out. She's had to lay this up. And uh, they've done a lot of work. There's the queen right there. I don't know if you can see her. Hopefully you can. I must not have marked her before. She's a beautiful Cordovan looking queen. Uh, she's got like a brown or burgundy colored thorax there. Beautiful, doing a great job. So we're going to close this thing up. Let them keep doing their thing. Well, that was fun. If y'all like what you see, if you could reach down below the video here and hit that uh, like button, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, the second one we went through, I was looking really good. I think they're on the verge of exploding and uh, moving on up through that second deep box and starting to stack honey in that top box. It's a lot of work for uh, a small to medium sized swarm to be able to fill up that much space in such a short amount of time. Uh, this one right here over my shoulder, uh, they're also looking pretty good. There are eggs in there, a little bit of brood, some larvae. 
we'll just have to see what happens. I hope to see some, some nice sheets of worker brood in here uh, before long. So one thing is sure, bees are absolutely incredible. Y'all take care and be safe.